Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are on day four of our Minute Bible Verses. Uh, today we're going to be in James chapter 3, verses 10 through 13. And it reads, Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. So what these verses are talking about are taming your tongue. Uh, this is talking about taking the Lord's name in vain, cussing, uh, really just gossip, talking ill about people. Anything that does not praise the Lord should not come out of your mouth, which is very difficult. It's something that everybody struggles with. I know I struggle with it quite a bit. Um, but it really lines out here that if we are going to be teachers of the Lord, that we should not have bad things coming out of our mouths. Uh, because we should only have praises and good things about the Lord coming out of our mouth. It actually even says uh, a couple verses back um, that although all kinds of animals and birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are tamed and have been tamed by mankind, no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. This is basically saying this is something we are constantly going to have to stay on top of because we're human. We're not perfect like the Lord. That's going to be a constant battle for us, and uh, it's something you just constantly have to keep in check. Uh, it's difficult, and I, I promise you I struggle with this more than anybody. Um, it's kind of, you know, when you accidentally drop inappropriate words around your children. Um, that's something I struggle with quite a bit. Uh, you're never going to be perfect with it, and it's okay to understand that, and that's what these verses, what this um, whole chapter is actually saying. But that doesn't mean you should give up on it. Stay vigilant. Do what you can to keep your tongue as clean as you can. Um, because that's what the Lord wanted. And earlier in this chapter, we can maybe talk about it another time. It, it talks about being a teacher in the Lord. Um, and how you should be careful with what you say when you're a teacher. Uh, which is new ground for me uh, trying to step into. Because it says, teachers of the Lord are going to be judged more strictly because of what we say, because that's when you're talking about leading the flock astray. So that's all we got today. Um, thanks for listening.